Hey everybody, Darcy Scott here, back with another video. We're gonna do a different format today, something I've been thinking about doing for a long time. And uh, you know, I think just like a lot of you, time, time is something I've got quite a bit of. Uh, so this is actually a format kind of inspired by uh, Sea of Tranquility. Uh, they're a great YouTube channel on here and they do uh, listening rooms where they just kind of talk about, you know, what they're listening to, you know, what's, what's getting them through this. And, uh, you know, I'll talk about a couple albums I've got here, and then after in the comments, I'd love for you to tell me, you know, what you've been, what you've been into lately. So first up, uh, we're going to talk about Pink Floyd's 1987 release, A Momentary Lapse of Reason. Uh, this is an album I never really paid too much attention to uh, when I first picked it up, probably from, you know, a dollar or a clearance bin. But, uh, I've been thinking, you know, I've been thinking about Pink Floyd. You know, how are they doing? <laughs> no, just uh, some of their other albums and uh, kind of their output that scene is not so classic and, uh, you know, how much of it is underrated, how much of it kind of, you know, doesn't hold up for a reason. I'd say this is probably closer to that. Um, it, it, it reads kind of like a David Gilmore solo album. You know, if uh, the album that came out before this was more of a Roger Waters solo thing before he kind of split off with the band. This is definitely more of a David Gilmore kind of solo outing with, you know, members of Pink Floyd involved. You know, Richard Wright is actually back playing keyboards on this album, uh, Nick Mason on drums, and then um, a plethora of session musicians filling in. And, uh, you know, it's okay. It uh, It's definitely not, you know, the height of Pink Floyd. Um, but in terms of kind of their, their creative drives, I've always been more of a fan of David Gilmour's kind of vocal and uh, guitar work than Roger Waters' kind of um, uh, bass work, vocal work. I mean, I think creatively he was he was a great part of the band, but um, I think in terms of just their sheer sound, I think David Gilmour uh, was a great part of that. And uh, I think this is worth checking out if if you want to hear more of that kind of that guitar work. It uh, it sounds a bit dated, as a lot of records did in the 80s. Uh, the production, again, it's, it's got that kind of 80s power drum sound and the keyboards aren't really as kind of rich as, as they are on their other albums. But in general, I think this is one that uh, gets overlooked uh, a bit. And, and just worth checking out if you kind of want more, a bit more Pink Floyd that's certainly not into their kind of their... Uh, their classic sound, their psychedelic sound, their progressive rock sound, but if you like their kind of more pop rock leanings, I think I think you get a lot out of it. Next up is a, a surprise album called One Fine Morning by Canadian brass rock band Lighthouse. It was on vinyl, picked up from uh, Lyle's Place in Victoria, BC a few months ago in the clearance bin. Just one of those kind of, you know, I uh, was going through, I saw, saw the cover art and thought uh, that looks looks like something I might be into and uh, and sure enough you know it's good if if you're a fan of kind of those early Chicago albums uh, I think this is something you really like uh, especially the songs what have we got here love of a woman uh, sing 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 the title track one fine morning step out on the seat lots of really cool tracks on here um, again it was uh, something I just kind of found wasn't wasn't really expecting anything and then you know dancing around morning coffee Get your dance, get your groove on, it was good. It was, uh, it was a good time. I highly, highly support you checking them out. Uh, especially if, yeah, you want something to put a little, little oomph in your day, you know? Finally, I'll talk about this uh, compilation, Three Piece Suite. It's a uh, gentle giant produced by Steve Wilson from Pokey Pine Tree as well as Solo Works. Uh, he's done remix work for, for yes, for, um, Gentle Giant, obviously, for uh, for Opeth, all kinds of groups. And this is actually a compilation of tracks from their first three albums. Uh, now, Gentle Giant is a band I was kind of sleeping on before. You know, they're not really seen as kind of the the upper echelon in Prague. They're kind of, um, kind of not on the same level of Genesis or Yes or ELP um, or Jethro Tull, but I don't know, I don't know why now. You know, I, I'd heard them before years and years ago just kind of passed it off. I uh, don't know what I was thinking. This album really has turned me into a fan. It's got um, 
those same kind of progressive bombastic elements that 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 I just love in the genre as well as kind of a few Canterbury elements here and there so if you're a fan of groups like Gong you know you have a bit of that kind of keyboard work and, and kind of silly lyrical content um, and the mixes on these as with all of Steve Wilson's work is is really good it uh, it just sounds really crisp really clear um, even on my setup, I don't have the you know the best speakers in the world, but it, it just sounds sounds wonderful. Um, as well, on the inside, you get kind of a little write up of you know Judge Giant, you know how they formed their albums, what the songs were. That's uh, kind of revealed that the reason a lot of these songs are on this compilation is because uh, the master tapes are lost for the others. So work, work with what you got, you know. But uh, no, it's really good. And uh, yeah, those are three things I've really been digging lately. Uh, but tell me, tell me about you. What, what, what are, uh, what have you been up to? You know? No, but uh, tell me in the comments. You know what you've been into. What's been getting you through this time? Is it something you know, a little more dancey, a little more upbeat, or if, uh, you're checking out a genre of music you never had before? Because, you know, you gotta find something. And music, music does it. All right, until next time, have a good day.